as long as you have some heavy lifts, some weighted stretch lifts, and obviously some. Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. All right, so today is Monday, so we are answering questions about myostatin or muscle growth maximization, right? So let's get started. All right, so let's pick this one. Should I start training full body four to seven times per week? Stats, height, five, seven. Uh, <laughs> I, I laughed at this one. He put race Indian. Um, guys, you don't have to include your uh, your ethnicity or race, but you know, I guess uh, uh, the more data, the better. But yeah, you don't have to include that because that, that, that doesn't really tell me anything. Um, anyway, weight, 125 pounds. Body fat, 15%. Body fat, so you are very very tiny my friend and i say this with love of course um i started off weighing 105 holy shit yeah he made a lot of progress on may 1st looking like an escape holocaust survivor oh god um i ran <laughs> what the fuck man um it's funny because it just sounds so much funnier when i actually say it out loud as opposed to when i first read it but anyway i ran ppl and made some pretty quick strength and size gains but i feel like i'm starting to plateau and i'm starting to lose more strength even though i'm still gaining weight i want to start training full body four to seven times per week but i don't know how i will hit every body part effectively in as little time as possible i'm still laughing at the first sentence but dude like seriously if you went from 105 to 125 much props to you um like i said five seven that's really really underweight uh but anyway so um this is the routine i came up with i want any feedback blah 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 and then he put here every set and exercise in a 15 or 30 rep range with light to moderate weight drop set on every exercise at the same time okay drop set and um obviously he mentioned you know he showed his uh, his routine so i'm gonna ex i'm gonna criticize your routine in a little in a little bit but first let's answer that question should i start training full body four to seven times per week for beginners, I always recommend that they actually start with just three times a week, right? Ideally, obviously, HSP training, the best fucking program in the world, right? Three times a week, basic Monday, Wednesday, Friday. One day is your heavy day, according to HSP principles, right? H for your heavy day, where you only focus on compound lifts, increasing your strength. And like I said, the, the main purpose of heavy day in HSP training is to see how recovered you are on a week-to-week -week basis. Because the goal of heavy days so obviously increase your strength a little bit at a time every single week, right? Or to at least match your previous heavy day lifts. Therefore, if you have, let's say, a heavy day on Monday and you're performing worse than you did last Monday, and that tells you that you're not fully recovered, right? In addition to all the other benefits of heavy day, you know, bone density, androgen receptor binding, blah, blah, blah. So one day for heavy training. One day for weighted stretch, so that could be on Wednesday, right? Where you focus on training muscles in a lengthened position, right? Weighted stretch, you know, I made a ton of videos about that for years. Look into that. And obviously, the third day is your pump day, right? Where you focus on mind-muscle connection, maximizing the pump, maximizing blood flow to the muscle, getting a crazy fucking pump and burn, you know, and maximizing all the benefits of, uh, you know, that you get from that type of training. So keep it simple, right? Three times a week if you're a beginner. Now... Let's say you're a fat fuck, or let's say uh, you have an extremely sedentary lifestyle, or let's say you're really, really, really good at managing recovery, so that is sleep, that's nutrition, that's vitamins and minerals, uh, you know, keeping stress low, whatever, then you can start to slowly increase frequency. So you could go from three times a week to first four times a week, and once again, your heavy day is the gauge, right? If on every heavy day, your strength is still going up at a moderate pace, then you can slowly add more days, right? The only people who are doing six times a week HSP training are people who, one, have been training for a long, long fucking time, or two, who are obese, right? If you're obese, I don't want you to gym three times a week. I want you in that gym every fucking day, right? You got to increase your metabolic rate. You got to increase your myofibular protein synthesis. You got to lower myostatin. You got to get your ass moving. And like I said, people who are really good at managing recovery. But for most beginners, start with three times a week. There's no rush. There's no rush. You can make a ton of progress with three times a week full body training. And like I said, the sign that it is time to increase frequency is when you notice that you are just killing your heavy day numbers every week or when you come back from a uh, mTOR reset. Also, when you are that small, you want to focus on packing on size, right? You don't really have a lot of time to, for example, here you put cable crunch. What the fuck, bro? In fact, I'm getting to that part, right? Why? You, a lot of you guys forget that when you're natural, your ability to recover is limited, right? So you cannot go to the gym and try to train every single muscle as if you were an IFBB bodybuilder. You're not going to compete. You're not going to get on stage. Your goal is to just pack on slabs of muscle, right? Later on, you can focus on little cute muscle groups. But for now, 
your ability to recover is limited. So you cannot just spread yourself too thin and try to train every single muscle. That's why in interest speed training, I tell people, hey, pick five major muscle groups. No more than seven, five to seven. So it could be back, and I differentiate between back width and back thickness, chest, you know, biceps, triceps, shoulders, whatever. Pick just five to seven, right? And go ham, right? This way you can focus all of your recovery capabilities on those muscles don't worry about the unnecessary muscles that are not going to lead to uh, you know imbalances or you know that are just not going to make a substantial change to your physique all right here you have one two three four five six seven eight that's overkill now if you want to train smaller muscle groups right if you're like hey megan i already picked five to seven and i want to add some small muscle groups that's fine you could do nucleus overload at home for example cable crunch you could do that shit at home guys right uh side laterals you could do that at home you could just i think every every male should have a set of dumbbells at home get up in the morning do some side laterals before bed you could do some side laterals right some muscles can be trained at home guys this way you focus your energy and your focus and your recovery capabilities during that one hour window when you're at the gym fucking shit up right so again my answer start with three times a week and only increase frequency when you notice that holy shit you're really good at managing recovery and your strength on heavy day just keeps going up and up and up and up um two your program here again i can't really you, you got four sets of cable rolls um again i'm assuming that the body part you want to prioritize is back because like i said you should always start with the body part you're trying to prioritize apart from legs i think everybody should start with legs whether you care about legs or not uh, for reasons i already explained um but yeah i don't know why you have cable rolls up here so anyway what i would do is i'll put i'll put leg press if you don't want to do squats that's fine i'll put leg press at the top all right get that out of the way it's gonna fire up your nervous system release a fuck ton of adrenaline and noradrenaline keep you focused it's gonna increase your ability to recruit your other muscle fibers blah 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 um and obviously it's gonna increase testosterone which don't let nobody tell you that the acute increase in testosterone uh, from training legs is, is irrelevant. I, I, I've destroyed that myth so many times with evidence. But anyway, I, I don't want to go off a tangent. So anyway, train uh, uh, train legs first. Next, uh, let's see if you want to do cable rows. <sighs> That's a good exercise. Yeah, yeah. Th this is this is just this is too basic, right? Just follow HSP principles. Have a heavy day. Have a stretch day. Have a pump day. I mean, you can't keep doing the same exercise every fucking day. There's no uh, nothing is periodized. Um, yeah, you're going to benefit from training in a 15 or 30 rep range, so you're going to develop more capillaries, more muscular endurance, good mind-muscle connection, blah, 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 blah. But I don't see any heavy lifts here, right? Right. Everything is four sets of 15 or 30. You know, where are your heavy lifts? So, like I said, I would recommend you follow a basic HSP structure. Or if not, you don't have to follow HSP. As long as you have some heavy, some heavy lifts, some weighted stretch lifts, and obviously some high rep lifts, you're good. Oh, wait, that sounds just like fucking HSP. But anyway, um, hope that helps. Um, as far as, uh, like I said, as far as exercises, like I, I, I can't really go into details because I don't know your exact goal. You just listed a bunch of exercises. And whenever I create a program, it's always structured based on the person's goal and uh, the body parts they're trying to prioritize and, you know, stuff like that. So apart from putting leg training at the top, crossing out the fucking cable crunches and either doing it at home or whatever, uh, I don't have many more suggestions, you know, but I can definitely tell you that this is way too much. This is way too much. Um, you're going to burn out if you don't find a way to periodize your program. Also, make sure your nutrition is on point because 125 pounds, holy shit, bro. You, you better not be cutting. You better not be maintaining, right? You got to be in a surplus. Not too huge of a surplus, of course. You don't want to get fat, um, but come on, you, you, you got to pack some muscle on. But anyway, hope this video helps. Uh, I don't want to go off on a tangent because you know I could ramble on forever. So, I'm out. All right, guys. Don't forget to like or share the video. Subscribe and hit the bell. And buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workouts, splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus of the Lord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. Alright guys, I'm out of here.